Football coach Oemada Oroboton still finds these pictures hard to take in. This is Fabio Pocas, posing as a fighter for the so-called Islamic State in Syria. But Oemada remembers him as a talented young striker who joined his South London team two years ago. I'm absolutely shocked. If, if, if someone can get to Fabio, who was focused on becoming a footballer, to this, well, that means anyone could be um, targeted, couldn't they? It's, it's quite clear, because he came here absolutely focused on playing professional football. According to a Portuguese journalist who's been tracking their movements, Fabio was one of a group of five friends aged between 22 to 36 who travelled to East London from Portugal to work or study. Their pictures, which the BBC has not been able to verify independently, are taken from social media. This Portuguese cafe in Leytonstone is one of the places where the men would meet up. They shared a passion for football and they'd come and watch the Portuguese league on television. But elsewhere, something else was happening too. It's unclear how or why, but the men were apparently turning their backs on their Catholic upbringings to become radical Muslims. We find that converts to Islam are very often the most vulnerable to Islamist extremism and to radicalisation because they're receiving all information about their faith from one channel. You see that Allah will protect you and bless you and bless your family. Here, another of the boys, Celso Rodriguez da Costa, urges others to take up jihad. This and other posts on social media have led to speculation that the group could have links to the man with a London accent known as Jihadi John. Our sources said that they are in, in Syria. They have an important role in the, the movement, on the, the, in the, in particularly on the, the videos, on the, the production of these videos. The Home Office and Metropolitan Police say they won't comment on security issues, but those close to this group feel certain they will have influenced others in East London, who even now could be preparing to follow in their footsteps. Catherine Carpenter, BBC London News.